Welcome to Power System Analysis using PSSC. In this lecture, we are going to introduce PSSC dynamic modeling. So we will go with the basics of this dynamic modeling and we will perform one small simulation and then we'll build up on this concepts. So for this purpose, the data structure used in PSSC dynamics modeling consists of four kind of inputs or four kind of attributes. The number one is the constants. Constants are such kind of parameters which do not vary during the simulation. So once you set the values of these parameters, this will not be changed. A good example of such parameter is that for generator, if you use this inertia value, so inertia value is not going to change during the simulation. So this is a constant kind of a value for uh, dynamics, PSSC dynamics. So state variables, the quantities for which the instantaneous values are determined by differential equation. Now, because this dynamics is basically the solution of differential equations for each and every step of the dynamic simulation, we create a state variable and these state variables changes with respect to the how the simulations move forward. The algebraic variables, the quantities of which the values at any instant can be determined, all state variables and constants are known. So this algebraic equation will be formed with the help of these constants and state variables. And if you know the values of the state variables, you can calculate the equation, the output of this equation from this uh, algebraic equation or this algebraic variables. The input variable quantities for which the values at any instant are specified by logic outside the dynamic simulation. So if you want to give additional value, which is not a part of this simulation, this will be known as the input variables. In addition, there are four large general purpose storage arrays. All these data will be stored in different kind of arrays and these arrays are known as the con of which contains the constant, the state which contains the state variables, the var which contains, contains the algebraic variables and icons contain higher quantities, integer quantities which may be either constant or algebraic variable cons corresponding to each icon is an entry in the CHR ICN array which may contain character quantities. So why do you need these icons? You need these icons because this is like doing the programming. So you perform some uh, result and you want to store this result in some kind of an array. So this icon provides this facility to store this intermediate results into these arrays. Let us first discuss the classical generated dynamic model. So these are the kind of a models which are used in PSSC. There are several kind of models, but to just gain the concept, basic concept, we are taking this classical generator model. This is the kind of a similar model which we discussed during our uh, equal angle criterion or when we were uh, building up our basic concepts of transient stability. So if we use this model, what does this model mean? This is the kind of a model in which constant voltage behind transient reactance is used. So we are going to provide some kind of a transient reactance. So whatever the value of transient reactance we have provided in our load flow analysis will be used uh, behind a constant voltage source, a type of a voltage source which is not going to change irrespective of what is happening on the other side. So for this purpose, what is going to PSSC do? PSSC is going to convert this constant voltage source and this reactance into a Thevenin equivalent. Sorry, uh, not an equivalent. Like in uh, uh, this uh, uh, short circuit analysis, we used to convert everything into Thevenin equivalent. In dynamics, what is done is everything is converted into current injection source or Norton equivalent. So this is the current source along with the Norton equivalent uh, admittance. And then this is the system on the step up transformer and everything. And then it will be connected to the system. And what kind of values we require? These are the constants which we discussed. Here, this particular model uses two constants, the inertia and the damping constant. And similarly, the algebraic variables in this case are the speed or the speed deviation and the angle in radians. So this angle is the same which we are going to check whether following a disturbance, this angle goes out of step or what happens to this angle. 